Hello, and welcome to Center for Hospice Care's annual Time of Remembrance Memorial Service. On behalf of our staff and volunteers, we thank you for joining us, and we wish we could be together in person. We are grateful that we can be together virtually to honor our loved ones during this peaceful time of reflection and remembrance. As we pray, we begin our time together. Be merciful to us all as we are grieving the loss of a loved one. Shower us with your comfort, heal our broken hearts, and soothe our souls. May your peace, hope, and love go with us now and in each new day we are gifted. Thank you, amen. After the death of a loved one, we can expect that we will go through some kind of grief process. The one whom we held so dear is no longer with us, and we need to mourn that loss if we are ever to move on with our lives. The mourning we ha will have no time limit. It will not proceed logically or step by step and waves of grief may overcome us at unexpected times. We know we have to go through our grief. There is no way around it, or over it, or under it. We must work through it, and that will be the hardest work we will ever attempt. Support groups and bereavement services may help us in getting us to face our grief. We should take advantage of them. Prayer and ritual will also be an important part of our healing process on our journey through grief. Prayer and ritual are a central part of our existence. They mark the major moments as we move through life, and they help us to express the deepest thoughts and feelings about life's most important events. If we commemorate and celebrate birth, marriage, and parenthood, why not do the same as we face the death of our loved ones, gathering together the memories that made them so very special to us? In times of grief, prayer and ritual can bring a sense of balance and peace. They give us an opportunity to say goodbye, to express our pain, to adjust to a transition, to remember our loved ones, and to place those remembrances in the context of the present. They connect us with our past, define our present life, and show us a path to the future. Hopefully, they can raise our awareness so that, together with others assembled here in remembrance, a sense of transformation can take place. No matter what we have experienced, if we are open and responsive to the depth of that experience and mystery of it, we will begin to understand more fully the paradoxes in our lives. Life is not just happy or just sad. Life is a combination of the two. This realization can open us to the fullness of celebration. This celebration does not have to be extraordinary. It can be quiet and reflective. It can be spirited and lively. It could be anything that expresses the realization that new life is possible. As part of our gathering here this afternoon, we will be lighting a candle in memory of our loved ones, in memory of those who have been a light to us through the years. Although they are not physically present with us today, their goodness, which was unique to them, continues to shine and be a source of strength, hope, consolation, and encouragement for us. No matter how dark and frightening the nights of struggle have been after the death of our loved one, 
we can be assured that daylight will always come. May the prayer and ritual celebrated in this gathering help us attain a sense of solace and healing as we set aside time to try to touch the sacred. A century and a half ago, Henry Ward Beecher spoke for all of us when he said, what the heart has once owned and had, it shall never lose. Today, we pay respect to those whom our hearts have owned and had, and whom we know we shall never lose. We recall those who have been the very life to us, those whom we shall never forget. We shall always be indebted for what they have given us and thankful for what they have shown us and grateful for the ways in which they have blessed our lives. We remember mothers and fathers, grandparents and great-grandparents, and all of our ancestors. We remember also those who were like mothers or fathers to us, loving us by choice, not by chance. We remember wives, husbands, and dearest lovers who opened us to ourselves and to life, even as we open ourselves to them now and to eternity. We remember sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles, relatives near and distant throughout time. We remember our children who have gone before us and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. We remember both those who lived within the womb and those who danced upon the earth a short time. We remember closest friends, those who opened our minds and hearts, making time on earth memorable those who mentored us and lifted us and expanded our horizons. We remember ones who neighbored, played, and worked with us. Ones who have made our time more enjoyable and brightened our days. We remember those who gave their lives in the service of our country to protect their families, friends, neighbors, and freedom. We remember all these people who have brightened our days with affection, touched our lives in such a way it will never be the same. We will continue to remember them and the gifts their lives have given us. Today, we light a candle in remembrance of our loved ones. The candle and light from it represent our courage, our memories, our love, and our hope. Let us now join our hearts together in a reflective reading of the names of our loved ones that we honor and remember this day. Grayson Ackworth. Jimmy Alexander. Betty Amos. Virginia Engelmeyer. Leslie Bailey. Patricia Bailey, Daniel Brimhall, Jeff Cobb, Deborah Davies, Jackie Davis, Beverly Ganey, Michael Golubsky. The candle represents our courage to confront our sorrow comfort each other, and change our lives. David Haybager, John Horvath, Veda 
Irons. Dennis Kent Lyon. Scott Miller. Melissa Miller. Anna Powell. Adele Reichert. Betty Rhodes. Chuck Schneckenberger. Dave Sowards. Laura Stutzman. Lois Maxine Yoder. The candle represents the hope that we will continue to live the gifts your living gave to us. For the gift of life and our share in the lives of the individuals we are here to remember today, we remember and give thanks. For the strength and privilege to have cared for, loved, and nurtured those whom we remember today, we remember and give thanks. For the gifts of patience, endurance, and courage we received during the difficult times in our lives together, we remember and give thanks. For questions still in our hearts and with mysteries still in our souls, we remember and give thanks. For this day to share with one another our journey through grief and our climb to hope, we remember and give thanks. A death has occurred and everything is changed by the event. We are painfully aware that life can never be the same again, that yesterday is over, that relationships once rich have ended. But there's another way to look upon this truth. If life went on the same without the presence of the one who has died, we could only conclude that the life we celebrate made no contribution. The fact that our loved one left behind a place that cannot be filled is a high tribute to them. Life can be the same after a trinket has been lost, but never after the loss of a treasure. <laughs>